Welcome to this. Not a podcast. It's not exactly a live stream. It's just my thoughts with Rob Markman. That's the name of the show. All right. Check it out. You know, y'all seen me put an episode up earlier, man. I wanted to salute Nas's Illmatic. Um, want to do something else today because there's new developments in this Drake versus Kendrick thing. So Drake finally put push ups on DSPs today. Um, you know, he released it officially, so so it's out there. You know, it, it'll be interesting to see um where it charts. You know, I, I think Drake could get a number one record. And and don't get me wrong, I don't think the charts determine this. These rap battles for me are, are not about who charts where. I think it's dope that Kendrick charted number one with Future with like that because I like to see rap at the top of the charts. Um, but that doesn't determine these bars. You know, if it dropped 20, if it dropped one, if it was number 80 on the Billboard chart, doesn't matter to me. Um, but, you know, it'll be interesting to see where, where Push Ups charts just out of curiosity. Um, maybe not number one because Taylor Swift dropped an album, so that, that might be pretty tough to beat. Again, though, doesn't matter where he charts. The record is hard. Um, the record came out. It raised the bar like that, like drew a line in the sand, had to respond to like that. Push-ups come out. It raises the bar. And the ball now is in Kendrick's court. Kendrick has to respond to this. It puts Drake in the front of this battle. It puts him in the lead of this battle. That's just the way that I see it. Um, you know, one of the things that everybody is debating now is like, well, when is this Kendrick record going to drop? And I've said this. I've been consistent in this. I don't believe in anybody being on the clock. I've been consistent here. You can look back at the videos. I said this after like that. I don't believe in any rapper being on the clock. I didn't put Drake on the clock. I don't think Kendrick is on the clock. Still, I don't think you take a month to respond to this. I don't think you take two months to respond to this. Let, let's be real. That you know, that's a long time in this day and age. So I don't think you draw it out. But you know, there are people out here counting the days. And I think that's ridiculous. I mean, if we're being real, Drake took two weeks to respond to like that. And he came with the right record. It was it was the exact right response. You know, I think a time when Putting a rap on the clock goes wrong was Nicki Minaj with Bigfoot after Megan Thee Stallion dropped his. You know, I, I don't think Nicki needed to drop that fast. I, and it was funny because I thought the maybe the first eight bars of Bigfoot were like really good. And I'm like, OK, I'm interested to see where this is going. And then it started to lose steam and, you know, became more jokes than anything. And, 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 and it didn't like finish off as like this dope diss record. And, you know, I think what you want to do here, more so than to just be quick or be in the moment, is make a record that's going to stand the test of time. When we look back on this battle, which of these records are we going to be listening to 20 years from now? You know, I, I don't think like Ross's um, Champagne Moments will be listening to. I had said that. I don't think we'll be listening to that in a long time. So Kendrick's not on the clock to me again. You can't drag this out for months. I'm not saying that, but this like day by day countdown, like where, where's the record at? That that doesn't make sense to me. But I'm curious. Y'all gonna have to tell me in the comments. That's something we're definitely gonna discuss in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. But you know, today, aside from that, I also want to talk about the fake AI Kendrick track that dropped on Monday. It was titled "One Shot, One Kill." As soon as I heard it, I turned it off. Like five to eight seconds in. I don't even think I got 10 seconds in. I might've got 10 seconds in. I turned it off because I could just tell it was fake. Like just by hearing it, it didn't sound like that to me. It sounded old. Still, you know, it fueled all types of speculation that Kendrick dropped the track or he leaked the track. And then it was weak when people didn't like it. It was like, oh, he leaked it because he, he was scared. And, you know, Kendrick was scared to own the track and Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Just turned out to be a lot of noise, right? And I talked about this last week when Drake's push-ups dropped and it first leaked online. We spent like an hour or two hours, and all the social media was debating whether the track was real or not, or what whether it was AI. And I said this about push-ups. I think push-ups is a dope record. I think it is the perfect response to exactly what was needed. And my only beef was the rollout because I think the leaks fuel speculation. Now, if Drake would have originally put it on DSPs or if he would just originally put it on his SoundCloud or on his YouTube or if he would have posted it on one of his official social medias, that takes the speculation away. Right. Like like that whole hour or two that we spent speculating, that's gone. And 
you know, I, I think by Drake doing that, it opened up the door for like, oh, these records will come from any and everywhere. And, you know, I, I, I just think it makes the battle sloppy. Now, listen, Drake eventually confirmed through academics that Push Ups was, was his record. And it took a couple of hours, but I think everybody believed it. There were definitely like some naysayers and some conspiracy theorists. But it was pretty clear after about an hour or two, this was Drake's record. But, you know, when you have a song that the public is unsure of, plus the fans' thirst for a response is at an all-time high, you leave the door open for all types of just fuck shit to happen, you know, for lack of a better term, right? All types of people trying to come up, like this guy, Cy the Rapper, who made One Shot, One Kill. And he fooled a bunch of people. Now, I got to shout out Complex. I got to shout out Jordan Rose, who interviewed Cy the Rapper and got the story behind how and why he made the track, right? And, um, you know, I'm, in, I'm into this, man. Shout out. We all speculate online, but shout out to people really going out to the sources, trying to get the story that is needed, right? So I'm going to drop a link in the article. I'm going to drop a link for the article in the description of this video. So check it out. But, you know, Sai the Rapper says he didn't think that he'd fool people, right? Here's the quote. He says, I thought people were going to know that it was AI. Although it did sound real, it sounded like an older version of Kendrick Lamar. It didn't sound like his more up-to-date style, in my opinion. The style sounded kind of dated, so I just thought that it would be a giveaway, but apparently it wasn't. Um, and, and that's what I heard. As soon as I heard it, I'm like, man, this it just didn't sound like Kendrick, how Kendrick sounds now. Again, but I, you know, I'm a big Kendrick fan, so I've been listening. I can kind of tell the same way when I heard, when I first heard Push Ups, the mix was off. It was weird that Drake didn't like drop it through an official channel. You could tell it was a leak. I'm like, how can OVO let something like this leak? But it did sound like Drake to me. Like, and obviously when we get the mix and master version, it makes a lot of sense. But you know, I think what side of rapper underestimated is two things. A the people's thirst for a Kendrick response. The thirst has been so high. The hunger has been so high. People really want to see this battle get off the ground. So people will latch on to anything that remotely felt like it, right? And then B, the general public is just not that in tune to the different sonic details to pick up the nuances that he, you know, he thought it would be apparent. All it takes is for some audio to get out. Somebody on Twitter with a blue check, even though everybody can buy a blue check now. Somebody on Twitter with a blue check to retweet it and say, oh, this is the Kendrick Lamar disc. And a lot of people, you know, get fooled. We see the same thing with, um, you know, if you're a sports fan, it's like the fake Woj accounts, you know, with the blue check next to it. And they'll, they'll say something like LeBron James just got traded and everybody will kind of fall for it. So... You know, I think Sai the Rapper underestimated these two things, right? So after the track started to pick up, he actually made a TikTok to show that he made the track in AI. Like, he did backtrack it. and But people still didn't believe him. Why? Because the thirst is so high. Nah, that was a Kendrick track. It wasn't good. He's done. He's cooked. Um, but according to Sai, he said an unnamed OVO affiliate called him, and he broke down the stems for that person. Now, he didn't say who the, who from OVO hit him up, and maybe they did, or maybe it was somebody posing as if they were from OVO, right? Like, again, like, we're in this age where anybody could say anything. Like, you could buy blue checks, you could buy, so who knows? But Sada Rapper said that an OVO affiliate hit him up because, you know, they believed that it was a Kendrick track. They they thought, you know, when, when Sada Rapper put his TikTok up saying, nah, I made the track, this is how I did it, he was claiming ownership of it. People thought he was just covering for Kendrick. And so according to him, OVO hit him up and he played them the stems. He also played the stems for Complex. He kind of showed them step by step vocally how he created the, the Kendrick Lamar effect. So they were able to verify that this was an AI track, right? And he did say that after, you know, he saw that Drake heard the track and responded. And, you know, people were just responding to it negatively. Um, he didn't want, like, the perception of this track to to fuck up Kendrick Lamar, right? So he went to clear up the confusion. Here's his quote. He said, I'm not going to be responsible for a reputation getting ruined. I wouldn't want to damage Kendrick's reputation. And he also said going forward, he'll probably leave the AI diss tracks alone. Now, 
this isn't a personal attack on Sai the rapper. He seems like he seems like a cool dude. Like he seems like a nice guy actually. But this is the problem with AI music in general, and, and this extends way past this battle. To me, AI is a tool, but to actually use it to create whole songs to fool people, here's my thing. There's enough songs that get uploaded to DSPs each week. I think now we see like conflicting reports, but something like 100,000 songs a week or something like that. Whatever the number is, there is no shortage of music, right? There's definitely no shortage of Drake music. Drake drops like three albums a year. Um, we don't need the AI to make music. We have enough musicians out here. Um, that's not a problem that we need to solve in society. I can see how AI can help you as a tool, like maybe the way auto-tune helps to pitch correct, you know, and singers have been using auto-tune way before T-Pain. It's just T-Pain used it different, right? But now it's when artists start using those tools as a crutch, right? I can see it maybe to fix a, a mix or to, to get some hiss out of a mix or, you know, sometimes you want to isolate a vocal or something like that. Like you can use some AI. I can see it being used as a tool, but to be used as a crutch, to be used as a whole thing, we don't need it. We don't need any more songs. We don't need non-musical people who just know how to work the tech to create songs for us. We have enough musicians. We have starving musicians out here, musicians who are super talented and make no money. And now we're going into this pot of DSPs where the pie gets split. So now even more songs are going to be put into there because the barrier of entry on how to make music is even lower. You know what I'm saying? Like now you could just use AI. You don't even have to really work at the musical portion of it as hard as you did. And you could just rely on the technology to create the song for you. You know, I, I've had artists argue with me saying, you know, I had one person on Twitter and I think he deleted his tweets because I went back to look for them. But he was like, well, because the industry and the media don't pay attention to indie artists that he uses AI music to make fake tracks to get attention. Well, first of all, I've always supported indie artists throughout my whole career. Um, but to me, that's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like you skipping steps. It's like, oh, the industry or 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 the media doesn't want to pay attention to me. Um, so I'm gonna create this fake Drake track. I'm gonna create this fake Kendrick track. I'm gonna create this fake weekend track. You want the recognition and work harder. You know what I'm saying? Like you're looking for the end result. You know how long the weekend had to work to become the weekend? You know how long Drake had to work to become Drake? You know how many years of, of K dot figuring it out before Kendrick Lamar K dot like the different mixtapes the, the the Lil Wayne inspired mixtapes the different things he would do if you listen to those early K dot records it's a vast difference you can see how much he grew he put the the years of working it out in the studio and you as an artist just relying on the AI you're skipping steps right um and if you're making a song that sounds like Kendrick or you making a song that sounds like Drake it isn't gonna make me like you as an artist right it isn't going to make me pay attention. It isn't going to make me care. The only reason we listen to that track, and again, I shout to Sai the Rapper. He, he he seems like a real talented and nice guy. But hearing that AI Kendrick diss doesn't make me want to go check out his music. It might make some people want to go check out his music for sure, right? Because we feed off of attention. But the only reason we press play is because we thought it was the Kendrick Lamar diss. And when we found out it wasn't, we moved on. It's not going to necessarily make me pay attention or care. So I don't really understand the AI thing. And the context of this battle is completely just making this thing corny. Um, but at larger scale, I, you know, I think it has like terrible implications for the music industry, terrible implications for artists who are now going to have to compete with machines. What happens when labels maybe could just sign an artist's likeness? Or, or just put out their own AI records, just plug something into a machine and, and, you know, you don't have to split it with a machine. You own 100% of the record. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just think the AI thing is terrible. It's, it makes the battle corny, but it's even bigger than that. But that's just my thoughts. They're all subjective. Um, you know, I always try to keep it balanced. I always try to keep it educated. But let me know what you think. You know, like, subscribe. You know I'll be in the comments with y'all talking back. Um... Till the next time. Peace.